This video shows a military freefall training operation as viewed through the TAC server which simulates a tactical operations center observing soldiers in the field environment. The Drop Zone Safety Officer DZSO, is marked on the map as the HQ-friendly cyan-colored circle. The DZSO has ATAC running with a TAC server connection via cellular data and a GoTenna for local radio frequency backhaul of teammates to the TAC server. All other participants are only using GoTenna enabled devices to communicate to the DZSO, which is relayed through the TAC server connection and the result is the view during this video. There is a rotary wing asset transporting the jumpers and one of the crew members, Nomad 25, stays with the aircraft during the operation. The rest of the icons are jumpers and a jump master, which is depicted in the video. The combination of TAC server and GoTenna enabled devices ensures reliable force protection measures are in place for responding to any medical emergency by providing updated location, personnel tracking, and enabling a reduction in time from injury to initial care. This enhanced situational awareness provides reliable blue force tracking during the most critical phases of any operation. Here, the DZSO is established on the drop zone as an ATAC backhaul via cellular data. To the southeast, the rotary wing aircraft lifts off and begins its orbit of the drop zone moving from east to west. The updates are set for approximately 30 seconds, which shows the icons updating at different times. The observer tracks the movement using the Bloodhound tool in ATAC. GoTenna enables the near real-time tracking through the one TAC server connected device. The GoTenna enabled devices continue to provide consistent updates to the DZSO and everyone connected to the TAC server. The Drop Zone Safety Officer and the Tactical Operations Center are able to track the location and altitude of the jumpers. The box in the top right of the screen shows the jumpers altitude in this frame. Tracking operations like this enable command and control throughout all phases anywhere in the world. In this example, the observer is in northern New York while the MFF operation is being conducted just southwest of Providence, Rhode Island. As the rotary wing aircraft continues to climb in altitude, the DZSO can select the jumper's icon in the upper right portion of the screen and see the exact altitude of the aircraft or jumper without using or tying up voice communications. This provides vital situational awareness without the risk of stepping on voice comms during an operation where seconds count. This portion shows the tracking of the jumpers at just over four and a half miles from the DZSO at 10,068 feet. GoTenna has demonstrated the ability to track upwards of 50 miles away from a ground station near the same altitude. This means that jump masters and aircraft crew have positive communications with the drop zone, without the signal profile of conventional voice communications. This results in positive identification of friendly aircraft and having near real-time drop zone information for the jumpers, all while maintaining the lowest possible radio frequency profile. The jumpers have reached their jump altitude and exit the aircraft. Nomad 25 continues with the aircraft and provides an aerial relay for the group. As the jumpers open their parachutes, the selected jumper in the top right of the screen, Jumper 1, shows the updated altitude of the jumper. This shows the jumpers landing within the drop zone and the DZSO party moving to assist the jumpers. 
If a wayward jumper lands off the DZ, they can be easily tracked for recovery. The aircraft remains out of the jump area until all jumpers are on the ground, and then receives permission from the DZ to return and land. The aircraft crew is able to track the jumpers without assistance from the DZSO. The aircraft is cleared to land by the DZSO and returns to the DZ.